Hey guys, I'm Kirko. Welcome to Conan Exiles. Today I wanted to talk to you about some more difficult, not exactly difficult, but more like misleading journey stamps or less known journey stamps in Conan Exiles. Now, as you all know, journey stamps will help you quite a lot when you level up. It's gonna give you quite a lot of XP, it's gonna boost you up, so it's gonna make it easier to reach that coveted level 60 that everyone wants to get to. Now, there's there's some like wording that uh, Funcom used that it's well it's as I said misleading and also for new players some of the things might be kind of hard to uh, understand so basically this is more focused on newer players like myself I only started playing after the early access so uh, this was all no new to me like a month ago so yeah, I was trying to Google and uh, trying to talk to other people as I play on an official server and not all answers were readily available out there. Of course, this game is all about exploration, so uh, finding stuff like that on your own might be interesting, but sometimes can be frustrating because of the misleading nature of some of the journey steps. Now, as always, there could be spoilers in here, so if you're trying to avoid them, stop watching now. And thank you for watching so far. But uh, if you're not too afraid of some spoilery things, well, continue watching and you might find stuff like where to find uh, black lotus blossoms, because apparently that's not something a lot of people know, and so on and so forth. So yeah, let's continue. Now first I wanted to talk about, about a journey stamp called Craft an Exceptional or Flawless Item. Now this might be this might be just uh, something you all know that you've been veterans, but for new people, for new players, this might be not so obvious. So what do you need? You need an armor's bench, you need a blacksmith bench, or you need a carpenter's bench, and then you click on it. And without a thrall, you can't do anything special. But if you put a thrall in there, there's gonna be special recipes. Look at that. Exceptional heavy gauntlets. This is how you do it. So basically you need a better thrall. Uh, usually level 1's, uh, they might have a recipe or two, uh, it depends on, on them, but uh, higher level armorers and blacksmiths and of course carpenters, they will have more and better recipes. So get one of those and you will be able to easily craft one of the exceptional ones. You only need to craft one. Uh, I find the easiest ones are usually at the carpenter's bench because you can just craft a uh, like a, one of the low level bows and... Uh, that's gonna make it complete your journey step. Next I wanted to talk about a journey step called modify a weapon. You can find it over here, chapter 6. Now this one again seems to be obvious to many people but but the newcomers it might be kinda confusing because it never tells you that your weapon needs to be fully repaired before you can modify it. Same goes for armor. So how do you do it? You need to go first and build one of the advanced or simple or just normal weapon damage kit. For this case, we're gonna build just a simple one, just so we can showcase how this works. Now grab one of those, and how do you do it? Now we have this broken daggers over here, and we have this iron broadsword. If I drop it on this, cannot modify items that are damaged. But if you drop it on this, here you go. It's gonna deal extra damage now. Awesome iron broadsword. Well, not really awesome, but here you go. This is this is how you do it. This is how you modify it. And um, that's gonna that's gonna complete a journey step for you. So the next journey step is under chapter eight. How is the black lotus blossom? Now this one is kind of tricky to find because it's only in one place. You have to go into the jungle and you have to find the black garden over here. Now if you're a lower player, lower level player, be careful because there's some nasty gorillas and other nastiness around here. And also this place can give you corruption. Noxious gas, actually, not corruption. I lied to you, I'm sorry. This is how you get it. Black Lotus Powder. Of course, as I said, there's some gorilla stuff out here and other nastiness that you... If you're up like level 20 to 30, you might have some problems with. After that, it should be quite okay. After you get over level 30, get some proper weapons, maybe up to level 40, uh, then it shouldn't really be a problem for you to deal with this bad boys. Uh, just be careful, you're just trying to avoid them. You can climb the walls over here, uh, but uh, keep in mind that the uh, walls can 
as many things in this game can get kind of buggy. Uh, so if you just climb up there, it can get kind of buggy. And as you can see, I'm rubber banding like crazy right now. I can't even attack this stuff. So yeah, just just be careful. Just be careful of that. And uh, well, avoid the birds and such. Or they will be the death of you. Next journey step, quite easy to complete, but you might know, not know where to find it. So it is called Enter the Palace of the Witch Queen. Now all you have to do is go down here to the forgotten city of Zelha, where you were picking up uh, the Black Lotus. And go down here, Celestial Plaza, to the Palace of the Witch Queen. Now all you have to do is go down here, and get down there, and enter that. You don't need to go in there to actually find the Witch Queen, but if you do, it's actually one of the most fun fights that I, uh, I've seen in this game. This is where you have to enter, this is where you go in. It's actually one of the most fun games uh, fights that, you, uh, that I've seen in this game, and I fought many uh, bugged encounters so far, and this one, surprisingly, wasn't bugged at all. And it uh, reminded me of some of the fights from World of Warcraft, so I kind of enjoyed it, and uh, if you do go fight them, well, just, just be equipped well enough. It's not actually a low-level fight, so when you do that, have fun. But all you have to do for this journey step is to enter it. Next journey step can be also quite unclear. You can find it on the chapter 9 down here, and it's called Summon the Witchfire. Now, this doesn't exactly tell you what you have to do, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna spoil it for you. So, what you have to do is go to Fireball Cauldron. Actually, actually, first things first, you need to go into feats, and you need to go into decoration, and you need to unlock the uh, chemical powder. This will let you build Witchfire Torches. So we have to go to Cauldron, you have to build Witchfire Powder, one. That's all you need, all you need is one, Witchfire Powder. And then you have to go to your Carpenter, at your Artisan's Bench, which we're gonna do right now. Over here, this buddy. You put on witch fire and then you can build a standing torch or a wall torch, whatever you want. And all you need to do is build this one and then place it down. Or maybe even just put it in your inventory. I don't quite remember, but that's that's basically that's basically all it takes. Put it down. It burns bright blue, kinda kinda blinding light to be honest. But this is gonna complete the journey step for you. Next journey step is one of those more confusing ones again. Now you can find it over on chapter 9. Over here, pour boiling oil from Siege Cauldron. Now mark how this says, pour boiling oil. Right? Now, first things first. You need to build crenellations, then you need to build a Siege Cauldron. You can put it on crenellation. Click on it and open. But you do not put oil in here. That is misleading. You have to put tar in there. So it's now tar in here, as you can see. And then all you have to do... Let's click it again. It's gonna pour the tar out there. Just one. If you put, like, I put 19 in there, it's gonna put just one down there. It's gonna pour it, and that's gonna be it. That's gonna complete your journey. But it has to be tar. It must not be oil. I don't know why they did it this way, but uh, sometimes they have those misleading journey steps and such that, well, you would you would try and try with oil, and it's not gonna work. Well, tar is your answer. Tar is your answer. Now there's another misleading journey step. It's called, let's see, survive a sandstorm outside of shelter. It's on the chapter 7. As you can see, I'm in the sandstorm right now. And at my level, I can just stand out there, get hit by it. And it's not going to happen. Anything. They're, it's not going to damage me. But that's not really going to finish the chapter for you. So what you have to do, basically, you get one tick of the sandstorm. You get hit by it, and then you have to equip the sandstorm breeding mask. Basically, that's what it's all about. You have to equip the breeding mask, or else the journey is not going to complete. Now, some people said that you actually have to be out there in the full desert, so you get the full brunt of the attack. I'm not sure if that's completely true of, or not, because I think I got it around here somewhere as well. But, you know, just to be safe... When you, if, when you make your breeding mask, just go out in the desert, wait for it to come and make sure that you're not in any kind of shelter and then equip your breeding mask and that should complete your journey step. Now to finish this next one, you'll have to do some traveling. This one is under level 7 or 6, uh, 6, create a map room, 7 actually. So what you have to do is you go into the city 
that we're gonna just uh, I'm gonna show you where it is let's hide over here before this bastards kill me so over here you have to go to the unnamed city and you have to go to the archives in here this is the place and you go down here and you talk to this dude he has the map room right over here you can't use this map room unfortunately now but you have to talk to him and he's gonna let you learn a new religion called cartography cartographer there you go you can learn that and that will give you a recipe to craft the map room I'll show you map room now it needs quite a lot of corrupted stone some iron reinforcements some crystals and some alchemical base now the corrupted stone alchemical base will cost you the most because for this one you for each of these I believe you need one uh, silver dust one gold dust and one one uh, no actually no that's for this one that's for a chemical stuff yeah for this one you need demon blood you need some stone I believe something like that and maybe ichor so basically it's quite costly it's uh, the the map is huge so but this is where you learn it all you need to do is place it down you can always pick it back up so if you have more clan members the other clan members can just pick it up after you placed it and just place it down themselves and they will also get the journey step done now this next one might be kind of confusing to new players because they don't know where it is but the journey step it's called climb the tower of bats you probably don't know where this is so i'm gonna show you on the map spoilers this is the tower of bats over here right over here you can find it and this is the place you can see it <laughs> on my server someone already uh built an elevator up there but basically all you have to do is just climb up there usually the best way is to go up the north side I will advise you to put your armor off because that's gonna weigh you or if you have the climbers boots well uh, or the armor uh, then you can just use that and that's gonna make things easier for you but basically don't use don't use armor where you climb it's gonna be easier and of course if you have some points in the grid that's gonna also make it easier but it shouldn't be too hard of a climb up there or well if you're lucky enough someone's gonna already build an elevator up there and you can just ride that and that's gonna make things easy for you but yeah basically getting up there that's gonna finish your journey step now that's gonna do it for all the journey steps today uh, if you have some more questions about some more misleading or uh, stuff that you don't know journey steps well, don't be afraid to ask down in the comments. And if you have any uh, ideas of what was hard to find for you, uh, please share it with the community. I'm sure everyone will be happy to learn some more uh, steps that I might have omitted over here. I only went with like 10 that were kind of, well, confusing, misleading, harder to understand possibly, or harder to find because there were no details available. I did not want to go with stuff like visit the mounds of the dead because that is easily something that you could if you're playing on an official server that you can just ask in chat and everyone's gonna be able to tell you where those places are so that's why I omitted those and went with those that I chose but if you have any more questions well just don't be afraid to ask but for now thank you all for watching I also have a uh, short let's play series on Conan about 24 episodes so far uh, on some of them I played with another friend some of them I did solo um, and those uh, you can you can find my first steps in Conan in those videos but yeah for now thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you did, if you're not subscribed yet, please do that. Share, like, share with your friends. And I'll see you next time. Coco out.